Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KitBadger.com, here to bring you another gear review, and today, talking pants. These right here, which are the Raider Pants by Prometheus Design Works. So, pants. Kind of mundane, but you know what? Most people wear them, unless you're Donald Duck. That being said, if you're going to be spending a lot of time in something, ideally you want something that suits your lifestyle. To that end, these Raider Pants by Prometheus Design Works. I have been wearing a type of Raider pants for well well over a year now and they're awesome. I for me personally it's one of those where how do you how do you use the clothing that you're using, i.e. what kind of activities you do and do they actually enhance or help you with respect to what you're usually doing, i.e. layout, cut, materials, stuff along those lines. Jumping straight into the some of the features Go ahead and start with the way some of the belt loops are set up. Basically, you have these here kind of up front and then as they wrap around towards the back, making it really easy for depending on how and what you carry. And then also right here, we have these two rings, kind of like modified D rings. You can actually lash things to it if you are out on adventures high risk items you do not want to lose maybe a compass something along those lines and right up front we have these pockets really handy for me personally i'll usually carry my audio there when i'm recording makes it handy and then just everyday use this i'll usually keep my phone right here it is deep but not overly deep and actually lends itself to other things which i'll show you later as far as these front pockets, I like how low they are because one, if you are out backpacking and you have a waist belt, you can still access your pockets here, even with that waist belt going across. And when you're sitting, you can actually still access your pockets. There's some pretty cool stuff within the pockets I'll go over in a minute that also really helps with everyday carry. Additionally, on these side pockets, we have basically a little kind of utility piece built into it. So right here, you can actually put things in them or depending on how you want to carry stuff, you can actually put the clip for whatever you're carrying down inside of it. So you don't have anything on the outside. Again, depending on how you end up deciding you want to carry things. As far as belt loops go, I'd mentioned there's that one up front, the one on the side, and then as you come around the back, there's actually three of them total of seven belt loops. Most pants have five and it'll just be one in the back basically. Does this matter? In my experience, yes. In that having all seven does a much better job of using a belt, actually keeping your pants in place when you're out doing things, being dynamic. Does it matter if you're sitting at a desk? I don't know, probably not. But in my experience, I definitely do appreciate that. With respect to the back pockets, they have a button closure. The button is actually captured, i.e. there's a piece of material going through it rather than just threads. Makes it really nice. Pretty difficult to lose those buttons. I will say, just personal preference, not a fan. I haven't cut them off because basically keeping this as is until I finish my reviews, but I, yeah, I've never, put something in my back pocket, been like, oh, let me button this so I don't lose it. If there's something high value, like maybe my wallet, usually carry it up front anyway because I don't want to be sitting on it. But these are bed enclosures on the back. Also, just kind of design features throughout. You have a like big gusseted crotch, again, going back to dynamic movement. When it comes to the knees, the knees are double layered, articulated, you have kind of these mud flaps going back here, again, reinforced, high wear places right behind, basically behind your heel. And then throughout the whole thing, everything is double, triple stitched, bar tacked, really solid construction. You also have a couple other kind of handy pockets that I've gotten to really like and appreciate. As I had mentioned on the rear pocket, same with the front fly. You have a piece of material that goes through this button. It's not just threads, super strong. It's all bar tacked. Probably not gonna lose that button. And YKK zippers as well. One of my favorite pocket setup designs is on both front pockets. If you pull them out 
on the inside of these pockets, you actually have another pocket. This guy right there. And the way this works for me is, for example, the way I carry things. Over on one side, I will have my field notes in the main pocket, and then I'll have my Fisher Space Pen, and it goes right in there. So rather than searching around trying to find this thing, it's always right there in this little pocket inside of the main pocket. Or over on the other side, where I will usually carry my wallet, that sits in the main pocket, and then I will usually have this stuff inside this smaller pocket. Right here, this TIFS lighter, a little whistle, and some chapstick. And so all that stuff sits in there rather than just floating around inside a big pocket, like a woman's purse. Everything lost and mixed together. As far as other pockets of note go, there's two kind of pockets back here. In law enforcement, we just call them sap pockets because you carry sap in there. I don't know if I ever actually did. I don't usually carry a sap, so usually I will have a tourniquet over in this one on my right side. And then left side, don't usually have anything in it, but if you live in free America where you can have real magazines, I will say they will fit AR mags. They are relatively deep with respect to an AR mag, so you'll probably want to have either the old school actual mag poles or some sort of base plate, make it easier to grab. And then of course, with respect to the front pockets, when I'm on the range and I don't have audio going, I can go ahead and throw magazines in here too. And these being shallower, definitely make it pretty easy to grab, do mag changes out of this front pocket. Do you even pocket reload? One, two, nine, four, three, two. Are there any other pockets on these pants? Yes, there is one more and it is my least favorite pocket. Never use it. So on the pants on the inside over kind of left behind left hip, there is this little guy right here. And inside of it, Basically with a little flap closure, you have this little pocket. You can keep handcuff key, some spare cash, gold doubloon, whatever you want in there. Here's why I don't like it. Like I get it, it makes sense, especially depending on your use case, maybe where you're traveling, something along those lines. It can be really handy to have a little secret pocket. The reason I don't like it is because of basically where it's located. So it's stitched across this top portion of your pants. And with that, anytime you move your pants, like maybe go use a restroom, something along those lines, oftentimes I will find this pushes up and eventually just flops out. So now your secret pocket is out exposed for everyone to see. And while on this pair of Raider pants, this fabric, gray fabric is used inside of all, all of your different pockets and everything like that. On these ones that I'm wearing right here, the Raider Field Pants, it's this kind of orange mesh, which I like because just, again, use case, the materials, which we'll get into in a minute, and the fact that drains, all of those things, it's great. But now on my green pants, sticking out from my t-shirt, I have like this orange mesh, which pretty attention grabbing with that contrast there. And not really what you want if that's your secret pocket. I think probably an easy way to fix it would be to just simply move this pocket down right here. Basically the width of this material, just sew it in so it sits a little bit deeper. It'd probably alleviate that. The only reason I have not cut these off yet is because I just haven't finished the review of the pants but I will promptly cut them off because yeah, I can't stand that. All of this said, which ones should you get? Well, totally depends on use case. By way of example, right here, I have a new pair of Raider field pants. And these ones right here are actually field pants. One thing I do appreciate about PDW2 
So they know sometimes people make poor choices cutting open boxes. So they actually put this right here. So if you go crazy, you probably won't cut your brand new garment that you just bought. But these right here are the newest Raider pants by Prometheus Design Works. And they are, surprise, the Raider pants, just like the ones I'm wearing, just like these guys right here. So the way PDW works is they actually make things in batches. They're not a huge shop. Everything is actually stitched here in the US, usually over in the East Bay. And so these right here are the newest Raider pants. These are the Raider field pants made out of a Nyko rip stop, similar to what most military uniforms are made out of. So essentially a grid pattern. And if you end up ripping it somewhere, it makes it that, I don't know, about quarter inch till it hits basically that grid and your tear usually stops right there. So durability wise, definitely good. They've also added about 3% spandex to these. So you will have some stretch to them also. Nice. Again, depending on how you actually are going to use them versus these right here, which are the Raider works pants. And these are made out of a like 12 ounce cotton canvas. There is no stretch to them. So depending on your use, i.e. if you're going to conceal carry, probably want to keep that in mind because you want to make sure you get these fit to you with respect to carrying in the waistband, something along those lines, because there is no stretch to them. But again, how are you going to use them? So if you're going to be active outdoors, basically that what that's basically what determines kind of which ones you want to get, i.e. the actual material. As far as Raider pants goes, these that I just opened, you know what? Well, there's my pocket that I'm gonna cut off. And up front, I have these rings I can attach to. I'm guessing inside here, boom. There's my little inside pocket where I keep things from getting lost, like my Fisher Space Pin, stuff like that. Right here, oh, surprise. That same button, basically like the, like I think the old smocks used to do that too where you run the fabric through there so you don't ever lose buttons. And yeah, still has, do I have seven belt loops? Oh man, they got rid of one on me. So there was a small design change there. But overall, these are the same. Still have articulated knees, gusseted crotch, triple and double stitched, have that extra material, back of the heel. Yeah, these are the Raider pants, just like these or the ones that I'm wearing. These ones I'm wearing right here, these are actually made out of a like soft shell material, have a lot more stretch than these do, or well, these have no stretch. And so it totally comes down to how you're gonna end up using your pants and to that end, what materials you want made or pants made of. Overall, what are my thoughts on Raider pants? I love them. Probably my favorite pants with respect to layout, design, materials, all that stuff. I will say these, these Raider Works pants, probably my least favorite, not because of design. Obviously the design's pretty much the same thing. The problem for me is use case. This is made out of a 12 ounce canvas. There's no stretch to it. I am out on the range doing dynamic stuff or going into the back country, like the same cotton kills. Like it'll get wet and it'll make you cold versus these ones I'm wearing right now, the Raider field pants made out of the soft shell material. I love them. They're amazing. Taking them out, all kinds of adventures, inclement weather out in the snow, stuff like that. These that I just got, these new Raider field pants made out of the Nyko. These will probably do a really good job, especially through the warmer months and being that ripstop material, but with built in stretch, no, I think this would be the sweet spot for warmer months. Excited to put in time with them. Overall, it's materials. The Raider pants are basically the style and design that, uh, yeah, the way they work. And then you have the material. So which one's going to fit your use? Let's go ahead and talk price. These Raider pants, about 140 bucks. I recognize that might be expensive 
for a pair of pants. I have a pair of soft shell pants that, uh, yeah, you can get them on Amazon, about half the price. Are they half the pants? Absolutely, hands down. One, with respect to actual features built into these compared to, honestly, most pants, and these are actually made here in the US. Everyone wants to buy American made, not everyone wants to pay US made prices. Things are expensive here because we actually have labor laws, so people that work to include in textiles actually have to get a living wage, and living in America is fairly expensive. These are actually all sewn, I believe, over in the East Bay, right across, over in Oakland. But these guys are sewn here in America, consequently, and they're more expensive. I will say they're really well made. That soft shell pair of pants that I said, half the price, half the pants, not only with respect to features, but like all the stitching along here, it's already all blown out, uh, especially putting, whether it's a knife or flashlight, clipping in the pocket, that stitching's totally gone. Other places it's coming undone. I haven't ran into issues with these. I actually have a pair of pants from TAD, Triple Lot Design, from back in 2010 when Patrick from Prometheus Design Works He's basically the lead designer. He ended up, if you're unfamiliar, he left TAD, started Prometheus Design Works. I have a pair of pants from TAD back when he was there. A lot of the same design elements you can see, him having input in those designs. And those pair of pants I still wear today, like they're still going. I think, I don't know, one of the stitches might be coming out on the pocket where I've constantly put things in and out. but. I've deployed with those over the years, had them since 2010, still wearing them. 10 years on a pair of pants, it's pretty significant. And I'm sure these honestly will continue to do the same. At the end of the day, you pay for what you get. And I think there's a lot of value in these pants. I like them. So which ones should you get? Well, whatever ones actually fit your lifestyle with respect to the materials used. And because they're made in batches, might not always be available. So they end up basically rolling out the Raider pants or any of their products for that matter in batches. These will be put out three different colors, usually kind of a, a gray, a tan, and a green usually. And yeah, when these are gone, they probably won't be available again until maybe the next season where it makes sense to bring this material out. Like I imagine as we go into fall, they'll probably have these Raider pants available again, in soft shell material. And again, I don't have experience with these yet. I imagine these will do really good in warmer temperatures, but that soft shell material, those pants, still my favorite for any type of inclement weather, any, anywhere you'd want soft shell basically. But if you pick some up, have experience with them, let me know how they do for you. And if you appreciate my content and wanna support it, greatly appreciate it. Whether it's liking and sharing videos or going over to kitbadger.com, picking up KBAT target pads, stickers, patches, anything like that, or maybe picking up shirts through Teespring or even supporting me directly through Patreon. All of it helps me get out, create content for you. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.